Oxbow to the outside. And then it's my lucky day in departing, and Orb is down on the rail, just to the inside of Will Take Charge. Governor Charlie reigned well off the pace today, and the trailer is Rosie Napravnik on my loot. So Orb will be in mid-pack as they race for the turn, and it's Gary Stevens and Oxbow in front. 23 and 4 the opening quarter mile, and the lead is two lengths. Golden sets right behind under Kevin Prigger running in second position. Title Town 5 is third. Four and a half links off the lead. Then to the outside comes It's My Lucky Day. Orb is on the rail. He's kept to the inside right now by departing, who's right alongside of him. And Joel Rosario now finds room in between horses and now gets Orb to the outside and up into third position as Oxbow continues to lead the way through a 48 and three half mile. So it's been a sensible, easy pace for Gary Stevens and Oxbow. And that means Orb will be close and he's in between horses and he's going to get shuffled back a little bit there. He lost position. Title Town 5 is now second on the rail. Golden Sense is in third, and now Orb's going to have to find a way through. He had some running room, and now suddenly Orb is losing ground to the leaders. Orb has dropped back to sixth on the inside. Around the far turn, it is Oxbow still on the lead. Golden Sense, it's my lucky day, is third to the outside. Here comes my loot with a wide run. Departing is on the rail. Orb is put to an all-out drive. He's not going to get there today. They're into the stretch, and it's Oxbow. Oxbow a furlong to run. It's my lucky day on the outside, trying to close the gap. My loot on the far outside. Oxbow down to the 16th pole in front. It's my lucky day to the outside. Tries to catch him late, but it's Oxbow and Gary Stevens to win the Preakness. And it ups and over. It's my lucky day. My loot was third, and Orb ends up fourth. The final time, 157 and 2. Gary Stevens did it on Oxbow. Call the gendarmes. Gary Stevens just stole the race. That was an amazing performance. I think he took advantage of Golden Sense not really wanting to go out. Parked Oxbow out in the middle of the racetrack. Orb actually was in the spot he needed to be for the pace it, it set up. I talked to Gary in the jocks room about an hour and a half before the race, and Gary told me he wasn't going to push Oxbow out of the starting gate like he did in the Kentucky Derby. He was going to let Oxbow find his stride, but the horse broke so sharply the lead was there for the taking, and that's what makes Gary a Hall of Fame jockey, to seize those opportunities. Gary Stevens going to the front and never relinquishing the lead to win the Preakness on Oxbow, giving trainer Wayne Lucas his sixth Preakness victory, moving him clearly into second place in the all-time Preakness standings. And the first wire-to-wire -wire winner since Aloma's ruler back in 1982, Gary Stevens did it. And as far as Orb, the Kentucky Derby winner, was concerned, you can't definitively say what happened, but he had never before raced inside or around a crowd of horses that was not his comfort level, and he was in that spot from start to finish and didn't seem to like it. You know, never been this quite this close at this point in a, in a race in his life, only two and a half to three lengths behind the leader, Oxbow. No trouble in, in terms of traffic, but he's closer. He's not, he doesn't seem like he's in his normal stride. Uh, I believe he was probably in, a, in, in the proper place he would be. The, the leader never came back, so I think Joel had him in the right spot. He just didn't fire his big A game today. And uh, heading home, Gary Stevens. As we turn for home, Gary's got him well out in the track. Randy pointed out earlier that maybe, maybe the inside wasn't the best. The riders had been staying away from it all day long. But I think the key to the race was he went early enough uh, slow enough early that he had so much kick left when it's my lucky day came to him. You can never count D. Wayne Lucas out, and certainly Gar Gary did a great job. And there's Rosie Naprovnik on the outside with my loot, a nice rally to finish third. So at 15 to 1, Oxbow wins it after he and Lucas teamed up with a 24 to 1 in the race previous, the Dixie Stakes. Gary is with Donna. Gary Stevens proving once again why you're already in the Hall of Fame. This has got to be amazing to you. Your third Preakness win, but your last one was quite a while ago, 12 years ago, seven-year retirement in between. Just talk to me about what this means to you. Uh, it's so special. Uh, Wayne, he supported me, put me on my first trip crown winner. A lot of people were trying to get me off, and uh, he was the first guy to call me up in January. So I'm going to have a colt for you. His name's Oxbow. Here we stand. Been a terrific race in the Derby, and we were kind of flying under the ra radar after the Derby. Didn't get a lot of respect. 
even with the great performance, I came back and breezed him on Monday. And what you see right now is exactly how he acted in his workout. We went uh, just a nice, easy workout. His mind was right. And we came in here with a lot of confidence. But when I hit the half mile pull, I told myself, are you kidding me? Is this happening? The race was over at the half. So at the half mile pull, you knew I can win it from here. I, I just said, I, I just walked the dog to the half mile pull. Three eighths pull, I hit it. I said, pretend you're working him home in 36 seconds, and that's going to be good enough to win, and it was. What about getting the sixth Preakness win for the coach, Wayne Lucas? Uh, he's, he's not my dad. Dad, I love you. Uh, Wayne is like a, a brother, a coach, a, a father figure to me when my dad's not around, and uh, it's pretty cool. Gary, you were on the lead pretty much the whole way. Did you, were you thinking through the stretch, Orb has to come running? I, I was running when I hit the lane. I thought that they would come and challenge him. I didn't expect to go to the lead. This horse was so right today. He pulled me to the lead. He was happy. His ears were up telling me he was content, and um, he exploded coming off the turn. Staggered home a little bit the last 16th, but we had enough of a lead. It reminded me a lot of winning colors in the 88 Derby. Well, well done. Back to you, Tom. All right, Donna. Who would have guessed as Gary was sitting up here with us in the broadcast booth? It boggles the mind to think that he would return to the track and win the Preakness on a 15-to-1 shot.